Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this week's edition of the Black and Gold Report presented by Pepsi, a show all about UNC Pembroke Athletics. I'm your host, Todd Anderson, and on today's show, as always, we're going to talk a little football with head coach Shane Richardson. And on the last part of the show, we'll be joined by head cross country coach, Dr. Peter Ormsby. But first, Coach Richardson, welcome back to the show. Thanks for having me back. I wish uh, I had better news to report, but the, the, let's start. The Braves made the short trip to Durham County Stadium on Saturday and unfortunately came away with a 2017 loss. Uh, despite leading uh, 17 to nothing in the third quarter. Well, let's get your initial thoughts on the game, and then we'll break it down a little. Sure. Uh, yeah, thought uh, we were really prepared going into week three and felt really good about our week of preparation uh, and felt like we really had improved quite a bit. And uh, going into that game, uh, we felt like Shaw would present some problems for us, but for the first two and a half quarters, obviously we didn't see those and, and felt like we rolled along pretty well. Uh, you know, what, what happened late in the game there, you know, it, it was just one of those things where the momentum really shifted and it was really difficult to get it back uh, on either side of the ball. And, and you know, we just kind of let it crept into our mentality a little bit. And, you know, unfortunately, we, you know, couldn't find a way to make a play down the stretch. Well, let's start with your offensive production in this game. UNCP scored a season best 17 points, finished with 258 yards of total offense on 64 plays. With so many young guys on that side of the ball this year, uh, the offense is obviously still a work in progress, but how pleased have you been with the progression of that unit through the first three games? Yeah, extremely pleased with the offense. Uh, they have made great strides from week one to week two, and then even week three, uh, they really have come together and, and, and shown what they're starting to be capable of. Uh, we can still improve, uh, which is the great thing about it. Uh, you know, Seth is continually getting better and being a better play caller and a better manager. And uh, the blocking schemes are coming together a little bit better. They're getting a little bit more comfortable with that. And uh, the skill guys are really starting to find their groove a little bit more. And so uh, I've been very, very excited to watch those guys every week improve. Uh, and and I'm, I'm confident that we'll do it again this week. Well, special teams played a big part of two touchdown drives in the second quarter uh, for the Braves, but UNCP took a 14-0 lead into the locker room after a three-yard scoring reception by John Rich with 29 seconds left. What are some of the highlights of the halftime talk you had with you guys, uh, especially after taking that big lead into the locker room? Sure. Uh, yeah, we went in at halftime, and we felt like uh, we had answers for everything that they were presenting to us. And so on both sides of the ball, really in all three phases of the game, we felt very confident about what we were doing and what we needed to do and really the theme was at halftime was to just finish the game and stay hungry and put them away and um, you know maybe I should have reversed that uh, theme a little bit but uh, it, it, you know it seemed like it just did not happen and it, it went the opposite actually and mm -hmm. You know, that was a frustrating uh, thing looking back, but, you know, we tried to get them to stay focused and stay hungry, and uh, unfortunately the momentum shifted and, and we were not able to get it back. Then uh, just uh, more than six minutes left in the third quarter, 37-yard field goal by Connor Haskins puts Braves up 17-0. Uh, just talk about that, the feelings of the team at that point. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, at that point we were still able to move the ball, still able to stop them, still able to put ourselves in a chance to score, and continue to build on the lead that we had. And so uh, we felt very confident at that point, although, uh, you know, ideally everyone continues to do their job and do it at the highest level they can. Uh, but, you know, sometimes what takes place is, uh, you know, you've got 11 moving parts out there all at once. And, and if one or two or three, and you keep going down the line of those parts start letting up just a little bit or getting comfortable just a little bit, uh, you know, depending on what the other side of the ball does, can really expose you and, and all of a sudden start hitting big plays and start gaining some momentum and it all of a sudden starts giving the other side confidence and then you might start losing a little confidence and, and so it really becomes a game of momentum and emotion at that point. Well, big plays, uh, key to pair, touchdown scoring drives for Shaw in the third quarter that gets them back into this game. A 71-yard screen pass keys the first scoring drive, and Shaw converts on a third and nine with a 13-yard pass early in the fourth, fourth quarter to key the second touchdown drive. Are plays like that the ones that stick out the most in close losses like this? They do. Uh, you know, we have a saying where, you know, no one play will determine the outcome of the game. Uh, but 
you're right. Uh, down the stretch, we had we had probably about a handful, four to five to six opportunities on defense where we really could have come up big with a batted down ball, a little bit more pressure on the quarterback, uh, something to where somebody could have stepped up and did their job just a little bit better uh, to where we could get, get off the field. Uh, but, you know, one play is not going to determine the outcome. We need every play in that second half to be able to match up to our standard of excellence. Good. Well, we're going to take our first commercial break, but when we come back, we'll continue talking football with Coach Shane Richardson. So stay tuned.